Orienteering. Jorn Kellstrom, the father of modern orienteering and author of Be Expert with Map and Compass, defines orienteering as the skill of finding your way in the field with Map and Compass. This skill is a superior way of navigating and far easier with just a little study and practice. The most common difficulty encountered in the wilderness is getting lost. There are a number of precautions that can be taken to help lessen the chances of this occurring. Before starting out, whether it be hike or hunt, notify a responsible party such as a relative or close friend where you intend to travel and how long you intend to stay. Should you turn up missing, they would be able to provide search and rescue authorities with an idea of where to start. Many a snowbound hunter has thanked his lucky stars he made this decision. The hunter, hiker, or off-road traveler should not venture out without a topographical map. A compass is used to align the north-south axis on the map with magnetic north-south. Once the map is aligned, the user tries to cue it with recognizable terrain features. This allows you to get a bearing and plan a route to your destination. A topographical map X for your state or intended destination is available from the following address. A compass is an essential part of your outdoor gear and no survival kit is complete without one. There are certain features to look for during selection. They include the following. Ruggedness, luminous markings for after dark reference, accurate sighting, and clear azimuth readings. The compass user should be aware that the presence of metal can cause significant deviation in a compass reading as demonstrated by this knife blade. A hunting knife, car body, train tracks, and even personal jewelry can affect the accuracy of your compass reading. There are also a number of primitive methods for navigation. In the northern hemisphere, on a clear night, one can locate north by finding Polaris, the North Star. The Big Dipper is the one celestial formation that most people recognize and is formed of seven stars. Locate Polaris by drawing a line through the two stars in the Big Dipper that form the front of the cup. Polaris is about three and one-half times the distance between the two cup stars. Nighttime travel can be dangerous because of rugged terrain, so it may be prudent to wait till dawn before traveling. In the desert, where space is open, it may be preferable to travel at night. Another improvised method for locating direction is to use a wristwatch to determine the north-south axis. Here it is four o'clock. Check the accuracy of the watch by placing a twig or match stick on the numeral four. If the shadow runs directly through the hour hand pointing at the four, the time is correct and hence the north-south bearing of taint will be true. Hold the wristwatch on a plane horizontal to the ground and point the cor correct hour hand in the direction of the sun. A line drawn directly between the 4 and the 12 will run north and south. This is a very easy way to find direction when you're out in the field and you don't have a compass. It requires two stones and a stick. Take the stick, drive it into the ground, take one of your two stones, place it on the tip of the shadow. Now we've allowed about an hour and a half to pass and we're going to come to come take a look at our improvised navigational device. We've placed the second stone on the tip of the shadow where it, where it lies right now. And we're going to see that a line drawn between the two stones runs on the east-west axis. And we're going to verify this with a compass. There you have it, east and west, simple as pie.